Hello, Tori Zawaya here, and this video is going to be sort of an introduction to macros. I get a lot of people asking me about macros, and this is how you can sort of make your own as well as some of the ones that I use. So, it's how you make a macro is you just either type slash macro or get to it here in the game menu. I don't like to use the game menu just because they like to put the macro button really close to the logout button, and that's done bad things before. So I just type slash macro, or I actually have a macro that types slash macro for me. And so starting off here, how to make one. So you just click new down here, and you pick an icon, or if the macro has already has an icon, so you're using like heroic strike, um, if you pick the question mark, it'll just automatically do that. If you look here, these all have the icons, and the ones that are question marks are ones that are like only in arms, because I'm fairy right now. So like mortal strike, I don't have mortal strike, so it's not going to show that. So, and I would just type in the name. So we're going to make like heroic strike. So, HS will abbreviate that. And then we type slash cast heroic strike. And is what that does. So we have this now. See, it shows up the icon there. So we put that down here. And you can also type that in slash cast and then space and then just shift click it out of your spell book it'll do the same thing and so is what we do is we just go up here and we press the macro and it'll heroic strike so, so that's just how slash use works it's just one ability slash use this slash use that you can combine different things together so like for example here in my arm stand uh, arm spec that I'm gonna magically switch to instantaneously so my arm spec, I use a, a PvP macro here that uh, for for charging, and is what it does is where is it? There it is. So if see, I can add a bunch of slash cast things together. So I have slash cast battle stance, slash cast charge, and slash cast heroic strike uh, all on the one button there. And why is heroic strike should not be on there anymore? there we go so battle stance and charge so is what that'll do say I see how I'm in berserker stance right now it'll automatically switch me to battle and then charge and then I have another one that does the same thing for intercept so it switches me to berserker and charges and I just use those uh, to do that real quick the next one that I want to show you is a cancel aura now cancel aura is the same thing as like right clicking something on, off your buff bar and the one that I use that for, you can a bunch of things like that. Uh, say, what I use it for is for Blade Storm. So I have slash cancel cancel our Blade Storm, and this one actually does a lot of things here. So you see, it can like can't you know you can add see all the things you can add here to get this cancel our Blade Storm defensive stance spell or like Blood Rage and equips a uh, Blood Rage doesn't exist anymore. I haven't looked at these macros in a while apparently. So, this is what it'll do here is just. Oh, if I'm blade storming. Let's try that again. So, if I'm blade storming here and I get an error and I cancel this and it'll automatically equip my, uh, my one hander and shield, or at least it should. And it's not because. Okay, so what I did there is, this is why you got to be careful with these with the macros. Make sure everything's the right sequence. And make sure you test them first. Is it had cast spell reflect before equipping the we the shield and weapon? And these things do happen almost at the same time, but they are kind. It, the order that you put them in does matter. So is what it was doing. It's saying you can't do it with a two hander. Well, it wasn't. It was saying I couldn't spell reflect with while holding a two hander. And so it, it just gets stuck there. It'll get stuck if it can't do something. So I had to move Spell Reflect below the weapon and shield. So now is what it'll do is it will, uh, familiar stance here, and holding weapons. Now, if I was bla blade storming, it would still cancel the blade storm, and it would do that. And you see it just does that now. I didn't have enough rage for Spell Reflect. But there it goes. See if I get rage for it. All right. So <laughs> moving on, <laughs> um, slash use, uh, slash use is uh, the same thing as cast. Now cast is any spell. Anything in your spell book is going to be a slash cast. 
anything that's an item, like a potion or a piece of equipment with, uh, with, a, with a use effect on it, or a trinket, is going to be a slash use. And so, one thing is that I use this right here. This is some, uh, not you, not that actually. This here. Now this is uh, slash cast bloodthirst and then slash use 10 and slash cast berserker stance. Now, is what use 10 is. Now, every every item in your, your slot here, every item uh, slot has a number. 10 is gloves. So I use the hyperspeed accelerators because I'm an engineer. So I have it so just while spamming bloodthirst, it will use my gloves whenever they're ready, the hyperspeed. So if I go up here and I, I spam heroic strike, or my bloodthirst seed, my hyperspeed accelerators will go off because they're macro to that. So it's one less button I have to worry about. I don't have to click them separately. Next here is uh, slash cast sequence. Now, slash cast sequence here is um here's a good example of it where did it go i lose my macros because i have too many here we go so slash cast sequence reset equals target slash 30 now that means if i switch targets it'll reset the macro if it's been 30 seconds it'll reset on its own because uh cast sequences will never reset they'll keep going in the sequence and repeat um until you like log out or it t or you you come to your reset condition so changing targets will reset it and after 30 seconds of not pressing it, not 30 seconds total, 30 seconds if you're not using it, it'll reset. So this is what it'll do, it'll switch me into battle stance, cast shattering throw, slap a rend in there because you're already in battle stance, and then berserker stance, then stop. The reason why it's stop is because stop, stop just does nothing, it doesn't do anything. You can type splarg in there, unless you have an ability called splarg, it won't do anything. And the reason why I have that in there is because this will this will automatically reset so I don't want to accidentally have to uh, switch back into battle stance because I'm mashing the button. So is what this would do here. This isn't on my bar for some reason. Don't tell my raid. Um, let's build up some rage here. This will change me into stances, cast shattering throw, and then switch me back to berserker. Can I slap around in there switching back to berserker? So it's just everything in the order you put it in. And it's how you do that is you you just shift click the thing out of your spell book or type it in properly and then you put a comma and then a space and then your next ability comma space next ability comma space next ability and as long as it as soon as it gets to the end it, it'll repeat so if you did want it to repeat you could do that i remember i used to use for my dps uh macro was slash cast sequence whirlwind bloodthirst bloodthirst because you would always do that it'd always be whirlwind bloodthirst bloodthirst nothing ever changed same rotation solved throughout the whole thing. I stopped using that because is what it'll do when you get to Raging Blow. If you don't have it in Rage, it'll get stuck on Raging Blow. It won't be like, oh, well, he did not have an in Rage for Raging Blow, so I'm just going to move on to Bloodthirst. The macro can't do that. It, and there's nothing to make it do that. And so is what it'll do. It'll get stuck. It'll say you don't have an enrage. You don't have an enrage, and it won't move on. So I actually switched that onto two separate buttons now. Uh, next here, as you saw before, is uh, equip. So it just equip. You just type in slash equip, and then the item you want to equip. And you got to be careful with the order of these things, because some things like can't be equipped. Like if you want to just equip a shield while you're holding a two-hander, it'll say you can't equip that with a two-hander. Weird things with Titan's grip. Uh, happen as well, just because Titan's Grip is an exception to uh, like the rules within the game, because it's crazy. And so, so is what you have to do. Like, like, uh, so you have to have equip the one hander, then the shield. Uh, same thing with you know two hand or uh, two handers. You know, slash equip Shadow Moor and this one has actually a stop casting, cast auto attack in there. Um, so just just things like that. So if you want to equip it and have it do something at the same time, you can do that with uh, with a slash equip map grow. There's also two other ways to equip things. There's equip slot, and there's equip set. Equip slot is useful if you want to have your offhand switch. You know, rogues do this because they they switch their poisons. They'll just have two different daggers, to two different poisons, and they will switch them. Uh, it went when needed, and you just do that by slash equip slot and is what you would do is you would you would type in the number uh, for the slot. You can experiment with the numbers. I can't remember off the top of my head. I know 13 is top trinket and 10 is gloves. I cannot remember off the top of my head 
what the uh, what the weapons are, but you can play with that real easy. Um, and there's also equip set. Equip set is relatively new, and is what that does. That uses the the equipment manager. Like here, I have slash equip sb, and is what that'll do is this one here. You see, it's a uh, slash equip set sb, and it'll always equip whatever sb is. Since you look at sb here and is what the set is is everything here is canceled so it's turned off so it will ignore that 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 slot so you can include and then you can ignore so it won't change whatever all these things are so the only thing that matters is the sword and shield and since um, you type in slash equip set SB uh, if it's the same as this one in here it'll always always switch to that so also like uh, TG here I have this one as equip set so it'll always you know equip set TG and so I have this other macro here that is this one so it says equip set TG so I click that and it'll automatically put my uh, my two-handers back on so I can quickly go back and forth between those just by going back and forth um, which is really handy for PvP. PvP is where that gets the most amount of use especially because you gotta have like pinch spell reflects that's why I have spell reflect on the bladestorm thing because that's usually why you'd want to cancel a bladestorm is that you know, you're sitting there bladestorming doing a bunch of damage and you see like a warlock charging up a chaos bolt you gotta be able to put that spell reflect up there as quickly as possible because he doesn't think you're gonna you know he's gonna wait for the, the bladestorm to cast that thing so if he's not paying attention you can get him with that. Next is um, I'm gonna go over is stop casting. We already went over actually. We already went stop casting. Uh, the best use for it that I have as a fury warrior is, of course, the slam stop casting. So stop casting slash cast slam stop casting. Uh, I have heroic strike tacked on there for no apparent reason. There's what this will do. Uh, I've talked about this one before. You probably already use this one. Is it'll stop casting anything you're doing. So if you're if you're uh, have anything in progress of being cast, it'll automatically cancel it. It'll also, it used to also cancel auto attack um, on next melee attacks, we don't have to worry about that anymore. So, like here, say I get a slam, I, now I don't have a slam proc, and it, uh, it you see that, I'm trying to ca cast it, and it won't, it won't cast slam. It'll say ability is not, you know, it'll, it won't do it until I get a proc. There's a proc, and that'll cast the slam instantly because it, it it only stops a cast bar. It won't stop an instant. And that's useful for a lot of things that proc, like you know, oh, this is an instant cast. If you have this, is what it's uh, is what it's good for. Then we have now targeting macros. What I'm going to talk about next here. That's the same as before. You know, you've probably used that. You slash target, and you can just have the name of like a boss or an ad. You got to switch to in there. Pretty useful. Um, target last target all one word and uh, here's one I made so target last target all one word here and that'll target the last thing you were targeting and then there's also uh, target focus which will target whatever you've set to focus uh, and also focus you can have slash focus as a macro so if I focus this I have my focus target there so is what I can do here so I can set that to my focus and I can target this thing here and is what this macro will do since it's it's target it's targets my focus switches me to battle stance charges and targets my last target so it should be able to spam that one and I'll keep targeting this thing and I'll charge this so that's a lot of use use in PvP if you're like watching someone's cast bar on your focus uh, they don't even think you're looking at them so you can do that for an interrupt uh, a lot of good PvP warriors use that one um, and that's just an example of how that can be used so that's pretty much all the basics right there you can experiment with your own slash key sequence macros I know lots of casters if you have a set rotation slash cast sequence is a good one well, warriors if you p especially if you PvP you gotta have those equip macros for switching between shield and two-hander uh, and that's it subscribe <laughs>